haunting images of Tory Stafford being lured away, etched in the minds of Canadians. But there are so many other abductions equally as horrifying. It's never too early to start talking your kids and it's never too late. So how do you prepare your child for that horrible scenario? At the hands of anyone, man or woman, stranger or not. Talk to them about knowing their numbers, knowing where they live, their phone numbers, who to call 911 when it's an emergency, um, when you're walking to school with them, point out places of safety for them. We'll always make sure that he doesn't speak to strangers, that he doesn't get in anybody's car, that he doesn't let anybody, doesn't get, I guess, probably within grabbing distance of anybody. Experts also advise children who are not sure to be loud, cause a scene, thereby creating witnesses to the situation and learn to say no to an adult, even if they know him or her. Sometimes experts say children's guards can be down if they are approached by a female. In the wake of the Tory Stafford tragedy, what to do and what not to do are topics certainly being discussed in homes across the country. Tragedy bringing the issue to the forefront, but an issue experts say should never stop being discussed. It's something that you're continually talking about every time at drop off. So remember, I'm going to pick you up right here at 3.30. Scenario training is really important. So talking about what you should do in this particular situation. There is a balance between making the kids knowledgeable and making them scared and, and paranoid. And that includes when discussing the graphic nature of the recent news coverage. It's your call as a parent how detailed you want to get, but it's, it, it is what we call a teachable experience. Keep that line of communication open and invite them to ask you questions. Much is learned from tragedy, and with an issue like this one, learning is everyone's responsibility. Anthony Robart, Global News.